Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to move the edge of an item without changing the fade or the fade start. Let me show you. This is a very common question that I see asked where you have items like this that are fading out. You can change the fade start. See how my cursor changes? You can just move it around to change the start. But if you want to change the end and trim it out, the fade goes with it which makes sense if you want your fade length not to change, to stay consistent. But if you want the fade start to stay put, not to change, you have to do this action. Let's go to our preferences. If we go down over here to our mouse modifiers, in the context, media item edge, and choose left drag. By default, there's no mouse modifier that's gonna keep our fade start time in place, but there is an option. So I'm going to choose it down here for control on Mac, but you could choose anything that's not currently being used. I'm going to choose right here, double click it, and go down to move edge. And down over here, we can choose without changing, fade in, and fade out start time. So if we choose that, this is the behavior we're going to get when we hold down this modifier. Now, if I hold that down and do the same thing, I can change the ending of my item without changing the start time of my fade. Do it here or here, which is very useful if you know where you want to start your fade over here, but you want to readjust the ending. And we can do it with multiple tracks at the same time. So let's select these all, hold on the modifier. Normally, it behaves like this. But if we hold on the modifier, it behaves like this. So we can change the fade end without readjusting the fade start. And it worked the same way on fading in. Let's go to the beginning and let's fade in these items. And again, normally, if we grab over here and trim, this point over here where it's fully up is going to move with it, which again is useful if you know the fade in length that you want to have. But if you want to readjust it while keeping this one intact, hold on the modifier and we can change the start without changing the end of our fade in. On these tracks, or all of them together. So I find that very useful. And because it's not a default in Reaper, you have to change it in your mouse modifiers right here. Move edge without changing fade in and fade out and or start times. So that's pretty much it. That's moving the edge of our items without changing the fade in Reaper. I hope you learned something. I hope you can use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Thank mm -hmm. you.